Hey everybody, Marlo Anderson, the founder of National Day Calendar, and we're going to talk a little bit, you know, about how you can use National Days to build authority, drive traffic to your website or to your business, and a great way to do that is to just mention the National Days in your social media posts. So if you were to, let's say it's National Donut Day, and if you put in your post, come on down, we'll give you a free donut, you're gonna get a certain amount of engagement, right? But if you put in that post the exact same thing and you include that it's National Donut Day, you will get a 3X exponential on top of what you normally get for engagement on that post and drive more people to your business. So you can do that over and over again. There are 1,500 National Days so you should go to nationaldaycalendar.com, look at our calendar at a glance, year at a glance, and look through there and see what type of national days fit with your business. As simple as that. And you should think outside the box a little bit, like the donut day scenario I just explained to you. What, is, what do most people call the spare tire in their car? They call it a donut, right? So all the use or all the uh, the uh, tire shops across the country should also use Donut Day to get people to come into their businesses. So think about that when you're going through there about the synergies between maybe some of the national days that are on the calendar that you wouldn't think would work for your business because you'll be surprised when you start thinking outside the box or outside the donut about how good that will be for you. Cindy here at Buckless Coach Web Show Live and Buckless Coach Travel and Tours. I'm here with my crew. National Day, celebrate every day. Hello. So let's talk about some of the things we did this week. Food. We <laughs> ate a lot of food. Yes. <laughs> now we hung out and had some fun. Um, we went to the Neon Museum. Yes, and that was very excellent. That was very good. We had worth doing. Had our tacos last night. Taco Tuesday, Mickey Finn's must do if you're ever on Fremont. Definitely. Did some work. Um, the two of us went swimming with your friend Kim. Had a couple of mojitos. Um, what else did we do? We went over to Sahara. No. We went to the link. We went oh, the to link. Yes. Yeah. They're at the and strip. Sahara. Yeah. And then we had. Um, Ghirardelli ice cream. Oh, so oh uh, okay. Delicious, wow. but they're definitely a sharing portion. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. So let's talk about what's going on for the month of September. So, from what I know, it's National Courtesy Month. So make sure that you say hi and compliment others that yes. cross your path. Uh, it is National Waffle Week. It's yes. National Potato Month. Um, what other national holidays does my audience need to remember for the month uh, of September? I do believe it's Chicken Month, which you just indulged in chicken and waffles, which was delicious. Um, we did the waffles. We had the blueberry glaze. Blueberry lemon. Blueberry yeah. lemon almost glaze. Gone. Look at yeah. that. We almost made it through ours. Um, I'm not sure what other days there are. We have a couple of new days coming up. You have the app available? Um, I do. So we have Eat Outside Days today, Wednesday. Yes. It is still August though, so you're looking ahead to September, correct? Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's the first. Yeah. So Eat Outside Day is on August 31st. Mm -hmm. yeah, that so we're hanging out at Hash, Hash House of Go Go. Hash, Hash House of Go Go in the plaza. Right here in beautiful downtown Las Vegas. Yeah, the food was excellent. Um, oh, so everybody wonders how to say um, a specific word on a day today. Mm -hmm. It's National Diatomaceous Earth Day. So if you're wondering how to say it, it's diatomaceous. Um, matchmaker day today. Oh, okay. Yeah, and trail mix day. Trail mix is one of my favorite snacks. Definitely. I love trail mix. What else we have for September? I'm looking, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at probably the weeks and the months because okay. a lot of people don't really visit those as much as they do the days. Um, 
So, uh, Childhood Injury Prevention Week is the first week of September. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, Waffle Week. Um, Compassionate Leadership Week is a new week, um, and it's just it's it's a new week to talk about how um, management and supervisors and um, bosses can be more compassionate to their employees. So that's a new one. Uh, we had Suicide Prevention Week. Biscuits and Gravy Week. Ooh. Oh, that, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's the second yeah. week in September. We'll be Very having cool. that for lunch. We'll be having that for lunch. Uh, Very Line cool. Dance Week. That is starts the second Monday through Saturday in September. Okay. Uh, it's also Baby Safety Month yes. in September. Oh, that's super crucial for and remember that. And Passenger Safety Awareness. So there's a couple of really good... Um, kit days on there for awareness and safety and let's yep. see here. Blueberry popsicle month. Oh, okay. Indoor Let's plant like week. Berry. I guess if you're living in the northern states where it's a little colder, that's a good time to bring in some of those seasonal year-round plants. It's going to start getting cold. It's also mush mushroom month in September. Ooh, Portobello uh, mushroom is my it's favorite. National Fall Foliage Week, the last Sunday of September. Wow. Beginning the last Sunday, so that'd be really nice. Get outside and look at the greenery. Um, North Dakota is a really good place to look at the trees and the colors. And Absolutely. And it's Suicide Awareness Month. And probably the one I think is the best is Self Improvement Month. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, how about ham? We got Hamburger Day, and we got Cheeseburger Day coming up in September we as well. Do. Yeah, isn't that the is it 18th or 19th? Honey Month is a good one. Uh, oh, Italian Cheese Month. Anytime there's cheese ooh, involved, it's a good month. Yes, yes. So we also have uh, Piano Month. Alice is a piano player. That's a fun really? fact a lot of people probably don't know about her. Wow. She's very musically inclined. Really cool. Yes. Um, sewing month is a, is a fun one for a lot of people. Yes. Um, a lot of people like to sew all the way oh. from... Oh. Here's the one we're looking for. September 6th is uh, National Coffee Ice Cream Day. Oh. Ooh. We'll be doing it. Yes. The fifth is yeah, cheese pizza. Yeah. The sixth is coffee ice cream. Well, you know, the ice cream, that actually how, how I'm going to tie in my business um, with the cards and gifts. Okay. I, I could do kind of like how I did for Chris over at National Day Calendar. I sent him a gift card for ice cream. Yes. Because his birthday was the same weekend as National Ice Cream Day. Yes. So that's another way that you can um, show love and kindness to those in, in your space. Yeah. Grandparents Day is the Sunday after Labor Day. Wow. That's a cool one. Matter of fact... One of our grandsons was born on grandparents. Oh, that's a nice gift. Oh, how amazing is that? It was yeah. the best yeah. gift ever. Yes. So National Read a Book Day is September 6th. I always encourage everybody to read a book. I'm an avid reader. Mm -hmm. um, books are, make you smart. Well, let's, let's do a, a little piggyback on that. Speaking of books, I'm actually in the middle of writing a book. Yes. I'm just about done. And today uh, we're having a podcast at 11 o'clock Pacific. It's the last day for the next 30 days because I'm going to take next month off to focus on getting my book to my publisher. Okay. So, yeah, so that's going to be pretty amazing. I'm going to pick different national days that people who have a online greeting card and gifts business, they could use also other national days like it's National Donut Day go to a local radio station or it's uh, National Taco Day is coming up. Go to a local real estate agency and drop off 50 tacos. So there's so many different ways that we could utilize the National Day calendar. Yes, yes. And you do a really good job. I mean, you're probably one of the most interactive ambassadors that we have. Um, it's always fun watching your stuff because you try to embrace as many days as you can throughout the year. Thank and you. And we appreciate that. Thank you. One of the ones people have so much fun with in September is Talk Like a Pirate. Oh, yes. That's one of oh, my favorites. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Like, yeah. you go, people are talking like yeah. pirates. So, so big yes. plug to my friend Lisa Wright. She's actually uh, coming out from Seattle to stay with me. She's going on a three-day cruise. And when she comes back, the day she comes back from the cruise, booze cruise, 
I actually will be celebrating National Talk Like a Pirate Day. So you'll have to stay tuned for that over at Michael's yeah, Coast web show. That. Yes. Yes. That'll be fun. So, um, Chocolate Milkshake Day is on September 12th. Okay. Oh, Video Game Day is also on September 12th. That's always a big, big day. Um, I like the retro games, but I am a Mario fan, so I really uh, like that. Um, a fun day would be Kids Take Over the Kitchen Day on September 13th. Very cool. Um, Alice and I both cook with our grandkids and we make things with our that's grandkids. That's amazing. So, yeah. you know, that's always fun. It's nice to get kids interested in cooking, but also teaches them math and listening skills and teaches them some safety skills about, you know, hot stoves. And um, I do have to say, though, if you're going to bake something, Make sure if you're cracking eggs, you pick all the eggshells out. Exactly. Anna was kind enough to, to serve us egg salad with eggshells. Egg Had a little oh. bit of crunch to it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a crunch to it. <laughs> oh. Well, in closing, because we're almost at 10 minutes, um, let's talk about really quickly my favorite month of the year, and that is November. It's National Aviation History Month, yes. so we're going to have you guys back on for that. And it's National Gratitude Month, so what do you two have to say about that special month? Oh, I believe you should be grateful for everything you have every day. Um, it's kind of something that we, we have a sign on our wall that says celebrate every day with gratitude and exactly. we do that every day absolutely we're thankful for everybody we're thankful for the opportunity to you know reach out to people every day and share something positive just think that people need to spend more time being thankful for what they have instead of what they don't have exactly and i always talk about this on my podcast it's so important to think of five people every single day yes. to do a random yes. call. I even do a, a video on text. Hey, this is Cindy. Just want to let you know I'm grateful for you today. It's not about business today. Let's talk some other time about that. But today is all about you and how much I'm grateful for. Because we are here today. We do not know our last day of breath. That's so it's right. so That's important. Right. The last thing that we say has to be full of abundance. Yes. We want to leave an impact on people no matter what happens. So let's do some shout outs for a National Day calendar. So we have TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. and YouTube. Instagram? Yep, and Instagram. We're also on LinkedIn. Um, 